finding a seat, comfortable seats. And we'll just use a blanket for our practice today. So sitting however is comfortable for you. And you're rolling the shoulders around a little bit, opening the heart, lengthening the spine, feeling the crown of the head rise towards the sky, the sit bones sink down towards the earth. Closing the eyes, beginning to cultivate a really expansive breath, both inhale and exhale. Ending. Staying focused on the breath, and you might notice the mind wandering, and you can just simply, kindly, gently bring it back to the breath. And we're going to find a special focus right now on the pause at the end of the exhale. This moment of emptiness before the next breath is received. what it feels like to just pause there. In a space of non-doing, not holding, just pausing. And then taking the next breath. if you can feel a little more softening in that pause, lengthening the exhale until there's nothing left, and then just being in that space for a moment before receiving the next inhale. to move the head around a bit. So taking a deep inhale. Welcome to keep your eyes closed as you exhale. Drop your chin to your chest, keeping the spine long. Pausing at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale, roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. Exhale back down to the heart. Pause here. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale back down to the heart. 
pause here. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder, and maybe the left arm floats up, stretches away. Exhale, hand comes back down. Chin comes to chest, pause. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder, maybe the right arm floats up and away, stretching here. Exhale, and comes back to the knee, chin to the chest. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder, maybe the left arm floats up towards the sky, and then back down. to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder, right arm floating up to the sky. Back down, chin to chest. Let's do that one more time each side. Still acknowledging that pause at the bottom of the exhale. Nice, and then bringing the head back up to center, opening the eyes, letting your arms hang by your sides. Inhale, roll your shoulders to your ears. Exhale, out the mouth, down the back. Again. One more time. Walking your hands forward, folding out over the legs, whatever situation the legs are in, melting towards the floor. If you're next, inhale, walking back up. Let's switch the cross of the legs if they are crossed. We're gonna do some clarifying breaths. So we're gonna build a little warmth, a little energy here. And really thinking about like clearing out the space to have clarity, to um, have the structure that creates freedom. So we're gonna inhale, lifting the arms up, exhale out the mouth, gentle fist, pulling the arms back, squeeze those shoulder blades, and then we're gonna Bring the arms across and then pull out to the side. Same breath, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. And then we're gonna lift the arms up again, pull down and then switch the cross of the arms. So I'm gonna start slow and then speed up. Find a pace that works for you and really tune into this clearing energy. What would you like to welcome in clarity about and in service for? Take an inhale here. more. Inhale, lift the arms up, hold the breath in. And exhale, wrist circles, float the arms out and down. Nice. Interlacing the hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders 
Inhale, lift, arms, heart, gaze. And exhale, hinging forward here. And finding a little balance here. You may be able to come all the way forward, lifting the arms up. And pausing here, tuning into sensation, breath, awareness. One more breath. Coming back up, you can keep those hands engaged still, bringing the hands over to the right side of the waist, dropping the shoulders down. Take an inhale here, exhale, drop the right ear towards the right shoulder, a little deeper neck stretch here, tilting the head a little forward and a little bit back. where there's a lot of sensation. Let's take two letting go breaths here. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. And feel yourself pause at the bottom of that exhale. Inhale. Bring the head back to center. Release the hands back behind you. Lifting. And exhale, bring the hands over to the left side of the waist, tucking them in, dropping shoulders down the back. Take an inhale, lifting tall through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Pausing here, a nice stretch through the right side of the neck, top of the shoulder. And if you'd like, you can begin to tilt the head forward and back. so fast in our days and stretching out what we're accomplishing those to-do lists each day these long summer days inviting this little bit of slowness here and finding one place where there's a lot of sensation Pausing, present with that sensation and two letting go breaths. <sighs> Pause at the end of this exhale. center. Exhale, bring the hands back behind you. Inhale, lifting them. Again, maybe a little higher. Stay here. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And now exhale, releasing the arms. Shake them out. And then bringing the hands together in front of your heart, fully pressing palms together, and then begin to drop the hands down and see how far 
They can go down before the bottoms of the hands start to move away from each other, stretching through the wrists. And see if you can keep the bottoms of the hands connected. So you're just going down as far as that can still happen. Pressing palm into palm. And close your eyes here. And find stillness amidst the flow of the breath. pressing the finger pads into each other and then shaking out the hands and stretching the legs out in front of you bouncing out your knees rolling your feet around lovely nice we're gonna bring the feet to the floor fingers uh, facing your body, um, leaning back into the hands, and let the knees drop side to side here. Wake up the hips a little bit. Stretching into the spine. Yay, spine. You can continue doing this if you would like, um, how we were doing it, or you can move more into this functional movement pattern. I'm actually gonna come down off of my blanket um, to rock side to side, which requir requires a little more core strength. I'm <laughs> inching my way forward here. All right, so let's come to hands and knees. Now hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spread really wide, knees underneath the hips are a little bit wider. Take an inhale here. Exhale round the spine, gazing towards the belly button. Inhale. Tilt the pelvis, let the motion slide up the spine, belly drops, head lift. Exhale, rounding back. And inhale, lifting. One more time. Curling the toes and the press back to a down dog. And walking out your dog, bending one knee deeply and then the other, stretching through the backs of the legs. Lovely, and then finding stillness here. Dropping the heels, melting the heart. Maybe even closing your eyes if you feel like you have your balance here. So active, pause. With your next inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. We're going to exhale, bring the knee towards the nose as you pull forward towards a plank pose. Inhale, lifting back up. Exhale, knee towards nose, pushing forward. Again, inhale up, knee towards nose. Two more. Nice, inhale, 
lifting the leg up. Exhale, bring it through to the top of the mat, dropping the left knee down to the floor. We're gonna place the left hand down and inhale, lifting right arm up. If you would like to go further, we're getting into the hips more here. You can flex the right knee and let the, uh, sorry, the left foot and let the knee fall out to the side. You can lean back a little here and if you wanna go even further, you can bend the left foot reaching back with your right hand for that left foot. So pausing here, wherever you decide to be in whatever choose your own adventure part of this pose, taking a couple breaths here. And then releasing back hands to the mat and then shifting the hips back, lengthening through that right leg. Pausing here, two deep breaths. And then pulling forward again. Curling those back toes under and we're gonna press back to a down dog and bringing the feet as wide as the mat here, bending into your knees and shifting your hips back and then looking up in front of you like you're in a crouching pose. Pausing here, two deep breaths. Coming back to a more traditional down dog and finding a pause here, dropping those heels, nice calf stretch. Inhale, lifting the left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee towards nose, pulling forward towards the plank. Inhale, lifting up, gaze in front. Exhale, pulling in. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, pulling in. Two more. Lifting up one more time. And exhale, come through. Which comes to the top of the mat, dropping the right knee down, keeping the right hand where it is. Inhale, lift left arm up. And you might just stay right here and breathe. If you'd like, you can flex the left foot, let the knee fall out to the side, little deeper hip opener. If you'd like to go further still, you can bend that right knee, reach back with the left hand, hold on to that wherever you choose to be. Pause, breathe, cultivate a little stillness in the active engagement here. And then releasing and back to the floor and then shifting the hips back, lengthening through that left leg. Mm. And then coming forward again, placing the hands curled, right toes under, press back to a down dog. 
So from here, I invite you to um, hold up your blanket, moving it over to the right side of your mat. We're gonna inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. So we're gonna bring the right knee behind the right hand and then slide the back leg back. If pigeon pose is not accessible to you for whatever reason, you're welcome to come to a figure four stretch on your back. So let's demonstrate that quickly. So you would place your ankle over your knee and pull that. So the reason why I asked you to put your blanket here is that we want the hips to be square. We don't want to be falling over on that right hip. So you might want a little full support underneath that right hip. So finding that equal balance between those two, two hips, nice hip opener here, softening the jaw. Take a deep inhale, lifting up onto the finger pads, filling the heart with breath. And as you exhale, folding forward, and you might come down to make a little pillow with your forearms. Maybe you come down all the way forehead to the floor. Wherever you choose to be, and if you're on your back in a figure four stretch, see if you can find just a little softening pause for a couple breaths here. your next inhale coming back up and placing the hands curl the left toes under we're going to press back to a down dog moving the blanket over to the other side of the mat pause in the down dog and then lifting left leg into the air Exhale, bring it through, pigeon pose on this side. Sliding that right leg back, support underneath the left hip. Feel into any adjustments that you might need here. Coming up on the finger pads, inhale, taking a deep breath, filling your heart. Yeah, lengthening the spine as you fold forward, keep the jaw soft, making a pillow or letting the head come to the floor. Breathing, pausing here. Inviting in a little more softening space and ease into that hip. deep breath here. And then coming back up. Hands on the mat. Curl the right toes under. Press back to your down dog and walking it out. And little baby step by little baby step. Walk your feet up to your hands until you're hanging in a forward fold moving your blanket out of the way 
forward fold, shake the head. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. You might notice that you're able to fold a little deeper than you usually are after a deep hip stretch. And sinking the hips down towards the floor, sweeping the arms out and up. We'll just come to a chair pose here. back into your heels a little bit, finding that pause, active engagement, stillness. One more inhale and exhale, folding forward, lengthening those legs. And sinking the hips down now, we're going to come all the way down to a squat, whatever version of squat is available to you. And then we'll come down onto our backs. You might rock and roll a little bit if that feels good to you. And then coming all the way down into your back, hugging your knees into your chest, and letting the knees come away from each other, reach through the inside of the knees, grabbing onto the outside of the feet or the ankles, your happy baby pose, rocking a little side to side here. If there's any final poses that you would like to find before coming to Shavasana, feel free. You might find another pause here, pressing the sacrum down towards the floor as you pull the feet down. It's opening in the pelvis. And then making your way to Shavasana, stretching your legs out long. And letting your shoulder blades slide down your back. Softening into stillness here. Closing the eyes, letting the breath become soft. Feel your say, yourself in this space of pausing, of exhaling, allowing the breath to support you without having to effort at all.
surface of your body. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. As you're ready, bend one knee and then the other. Placing your feet on the floor and come to rest over on your right side. Taking a breath here and keeping your eyes closed and your attention internal. Gently press your way up to find a seat. Sitting with your eyes closed, allow these words by Lauren Roach to wash over you. At the end of the exhale, breath surrenders to quietude. For a moment, you hang in the balance, suspended in the fertile spaciousness that is the source of breath. At the end of the inhale, filled with the song of the breath, there is a moment when you are simply holding the tender mystery. In these interludes, experience opted into exquisite vastness with no beginning and no end. Embrace this infinity without reservation. You are its vessel. Bring your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. And take a deep breath of gratitude that gratitude out to all the cells in your being. Inviting yourself as you go into your day to breathe. To breathe, to find that space. the doings, all the checking of the boxes, or space for breath. Thank you for joining me for practice today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.